Hey guys, uh, I am Luke, and if you've missed me, this is Gingerbread Man Running Company's shoe reviews. Uh, I apologize, it's been a hot minute since the last time we did one of these. The supply chain over the winter has absolutely just been horrific. Um, but the good news is things are starting to kind of sort themselves out. So we're going to try and relaunch. Some of it was supply chain. Some of it was laziness, but uh, we're back. So <laughs> take it or leave it. Um, today, we had a request from Megan uh, to do a review of the 860 uh, version 12. This is the newest one that came out. The caveat with that is that it, technically it came out in like December. So it's been around for a little bit. So this may not be the hottest new shoe review, but it's a good one to get caught up on because I know a crap ton about this shoe. I can't say shit ton. Um, <laughs> the 860, uh, 860 is New Balance's workhorse shoe. It's their uh, medium cushion, high support, stability shoe, good for walking, good for running, good for durability. It does just about everything for somebody that's looking for that correction for pronation to kind of keep you from, from pronating inwards. Um, it is a little on the heavier side. Uh, the numbers, if you look them up, are a little bit all over the place, but for the most part, women's come in around nine and men around 11.2, 11.4, depending on the, the site that you're looking at. Um, Cushion, like I said, is medium. It does have a nice layer of Fresh Foam X. Uh, and this is a nice color to kind of show it because you can see that the Fresh Foam X color is that lime green that you see on top of the, the regular uh, foam uh, bottom just to give a little bit of a softness. But I'm not gonna lie, this is not a shoe that when you put your foot into, you're gonna be amazed by how cushioned it is. This is more of somebody that wants something a little bit more sturdier. And I think that's what you get with this shoe. Um, it's hard to see in the darker color, but they still use a dual density medial post. The arch side here on the inside of the foot has a denser feel to it than the foams around it. So when you sit down into the shoe, it doesn't give, it acts like a little bit of a post, a buttress, a reinforcement, and keeps your, your, your heels from pronating inwards. That's like your first impression when you put on the shoe. Not so much the cushion, but the support. And that's something that a lot of people actually like about the shoe. It feels sturdy. It feels like it's going to help correct, and it does. Uh, it's a very good shoe for somebody that needs a little extra support in that category. Uh, the upper is nice and forgiving. Um, I do have a version 11 here. So this is the previous version. Um, and you'll notice right off the bat that the bottom is 100% the same. So the post is the same, the cushion is the same, the tread is the same, uh, blown rubber outsoling. Um, the upper is where things start to change from the 11 to the 12. Uh, and you can kind of see how the, the, the meshes are engineered a little bit differently. In the 11, the old one, it's a little bit thicker. It doesn't quite give as much. In the new one, you'll see some ventilation in it. It's a little bit more breathable. That's either pro or con, depending on where you live. Um, and it's a little bit more forgiving. It kind of moves a little bit with your foot, um, a little bit more adaptable. So if you have, you know, a little bit more of a bunion, but you don't quite want to go to a wide, it gives a little bit more than the, the version 11. So I count that as a, a pro. Um, some people did like the, the more fitted feel of the 11, but I, I do like the 12 a little better in that category. The biggest controversy is the heel going from the ultra heel that the 860 had in the version 10 and 11, they've bailed on it. And now we're going back to a more traditional padded heel. It still has the internal heel cup. It still has a lot of uh, reinforcement here to again, hold that calcaneus and talus in place, the, the heel bones. Um, but the biggest complaint that people had about the 11 is that this piece was flimsy enough that if you didn't untie your shoes, it broke almost immediately. So if you were somebody that had to kind of slide your foot in without untying and uh, retying your shoe, uh, this piece would collapse and crack and split and break almost immediately. Uh, we did have a couple of people that had to defect their shoes out and replace it. Um, but people did like this because it was more kind of fitted. Um, it kind of gave you a different feel around the heel. And for some people that had heel issues or slippage issues, this worked really well. That being said, New Balance listened to you guys. They, they heard that, hey, it was breaking down too fast. I want my money back. I want a refund exchange. And they went back to their older one. They still kept the, the, uh, the Achilles tab, so it still pulls away from the Achilles. Um, but that is the biggest change. They went back away from the ultra heel that they experimented with and back to this guy. Um, I, 
I would say it's an improvement. There are going to be people that prefer this ultra heel approach. Uh, and if you're one of them, I'm sorry, but the majority of people wanted something a little bit more durable. And that's what you get with the, the more padded one. I mean, beyond that, uh, that's pretty much all the main points. Uh, I will say one thing I did notice is they got rid of the gusseted tongue. So the tongue kind of being sewn in on the side. I know it's impossible to see, so I didn't even try. Uh, but they went away from that sewn in tongue approach to a, uh, a tongue tab to kind of uh, hold it in place. I prefer the gusset tongue myself because it kind of wraps around their foot. That probably a non-issue for most people, but that is something that they did change for the 12. Uh, but overall, it's been an improvement in, in most of the uh, most of the, the ways that we talked about, specifically in the upper. They did raise the price. It comes up to 135. Um, that shouldn't scare you anymore. Even though they raised the price, everyone else raised their prices more. So competitively, this guy actually comes in like five bucks cheaper than the shoes it kind of competes with. The adrenaline, the, the guide, you know, the the uh, the more support medium cushion ones. It's still technically an increase in price, but instead of jumping 10 bucks, they only jumped five. So there's a pro for you. Uh, the heel to toe drop is about 10 millimeters, 34 at the heel, 24 at the, the forefoot. Um, and I already talked about the weights. Uh, is there anything I'm forgetting, Zach? About the shoe? Yeah. Not that I can think of. Yeah, like I said, my first impression is that it's a very supportive shoe. So if you're looking for something a little bit more corrective, this is your Huckleberry. So check it out, try a pair on for yourself. It does run almost half a size small, we'll say a quarter size. So you may have to size up depending on where you are and, and how big your feet swell. So check it out for yourself. Come try a pair on at us. Uh, you don't have to shop with us, but try and shop local. Uh, and then all, as always, uh, happy feet. Have a great day.